This tutorial is about cross stitching with Swago blends and how it behaves differently as a filament silk from the spun silks, which you may, may be more familiar with. Swa 103 and Swa d'Alger in the Avera Swa line are more commonly used for cross stitch than the filament silks, of which Swa Goblins is one. However, that doesn't mean that it doesn't make beautiful and fabulous cross stitch. It does. It just behaves a little differently from Swa 103 and Swa d'Alger, and you have to know how to manage it and why it's acting the way it does. And the best way I could think of to illustrate these differences is with two pieces of road sick silk fabric that I have and I'm currently using for finishing. This darker one here is a red silk shantung without slubs, as you can see. And this one, it just, it folds nicely. It stays flat, it stays put, it folds flat. Whereas this brighter one is a silk fay. And this silk has considerably more body to it. It doesn't really want to fold. It bends, but it doesn't want to, see? don't really want to lie flat. It has a mind of its own and if you, it'll just flop back open. Go Blends is a little bit like that. I would say that it's a thread that has more body. That's probably not the correct technical term, but that's the best way I can think of to describe it. You just have to use a little extra care when you're handling it. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread my needle and just do a little quick stitching with this to show you what I mean. Now, to get my needle to stay when I'm stitching with goblins or another filament silk, I pinch these two together, I give the needle a quick twist, and then it will not, this isn't showing, but anyways, the needle is not falling out here. So I've done a little preparatory stitching here so I can show you what I mean. This is not the Russian tea cake that's used for the Simple Harmony box. This is just a little bit of scrap linen that I've got. And so I'm going to take a half cross and then another. And can you see how the thread is just kind of slightly bowing up in that half cross that I took right over it. It's not lying flat on its own. The way you deal with that is when you take your next stitch upwards, you just pull it firmly flat. Don't yank it, don't tug. Just pull your thread smoothly all the way through and that will deal with the nature of the goblins. Oh, and I've just gone over three there, but this is sample. So, so again, the thread, let's see if I can focus that better. The thread is just slightly bowing outwards here and you are going to just leave it be until you come up Sorry, I'm not sure if the camera is picking this up. My phone does not have a super accurate autofocus. And then you just firmly pull your thread smooth when you come up for your next stitch. And after you do that, it will stay. Your stitches will be perfectly flat. This is all Swago Blends. The Simple Harmony box is all done in swaggle open go blends and as you can see my stitches are lying perfectly flat you just have to take a tiny bit of extra care know that the thread does resist holding form just a little bit and make sure to pull your thread firmly through after each stitch when you're beginning your next cross and with that you are ready to stitch